You know, a fantastic real-world example of two things being proportional to each other actually can be found in slinkies. Did you have a slinky when you were a kid? You know, slinky, slinky, for fun. It's, little, isn't that, it's almost hypnotic. You know, I think this really will lower your blood pressure if you do this. Maybe for a test, you should just do a slinky kind of uh, thing. Anyway, um, the thing about a slinky is that it's basically an example of a spring. And you'll notice with a spring, if you put weight on, weight on something, in fact, the string, spring comes down. And how much force you put on it is proportional to the, um, the amount of weight you put on. And in fact, uh, this is known as Hooke's Law. So let's take a look at this question and see if we can answer it using Hooke's Law. So this is actually a real law, by the way. Don't break this law, whatever you do. So Hooke's Law says that the, for a slinky, or more generally for any elas elastic spring, states that the distance that a slinky stretches varies directly as the force applied. So let me actually show you this as an example. So here's a little mini slinky. If I take this and I put a little weight on it, okay, notice that the distance that the slinky comes down is so much, okay? If I put more weight on it, this big one, then notice that the slinky drops a lot more. And it turns out that the force put upon the slinky is proportional, directly proportional, to the distance that the slinky stretches. So there's a direct, direct proportionality. So what I want to do now is analyze that with the following question. So the question is, let me actually do it with this example. And so it's written over there. You can read it. If I put a force of 50, 15 pounds, so let's suppose this is 15 pounds, then I'm told that the slinky stretches 8 inches. So this is just a mock-up to give you a sense of this. So put 15 pounds. I have the slinky stretching 8 inches. Now the question is, just knowing that and Hooke's law, which says that those things are proportional, the question is, how far will the slinky stretch if I put 30 pounds on? OK, so I want to find this distance now using Hooke's law. Well, the way to proceed is just to think and to know the fact that the force is actually proportional to the distance. So what I have is the following. If d is the distance that the spring is stretched, OK, so it's, it's this distance right here then that's proportional to the force, which in this case would be the weight put upon it. Now, what does it mean for two things to be directly proportional? It means that d is equal to some constant times f. So the question is, what's that constant? What's that number that actually uh, makes these things related? Well, actually, that changes from spring to spring, depending upon how tight the spring is or how loose the spring is. See, that constant is actually depending upon the actual spring itself. Okay, So let's see what it would be in this case. Well, we actually have a data point, so we can actually find the constant. Because we know if we put a 15 force on the spring, it's going to stretch 8 inches. So that's given to us. So that will allow us to identify the constant. So in fact, if I put in 8 here and 15 here, I know this has to hold. Because with a force of 15 pounds, I know it stretches 8 inches. This allows me to solve for k. So what I see is that constant is 8 over 15. Is that the answer to the question? Absolutely not. That's just the constant that allows me now to figure out exactly how the stretching of the string depends upon the force. And so what I now see, coming back to here, is that d, see before I just knew that the things were equal up to a constant, but now I know exactly numerically what the constant is. It's 8 over 15 times f. So now I can answer, how far does the slinky get stretched if I were to put on a 30-pound weight? Well, no problem. I just put in a force of 30 here. So 8 over 15 times 30. I can cancel a little bit. The 15 and the 30, this becomes just a 2. And 8 times 2 is 16. So it, it would actually stretch 16 inches. So do you see how I did that? Just knowing they're proportional, with one piece of information, I was able to find the constant, then go back to the proportionality and make this equality, and then actually answer the question. So in fact, that allowed me to actually figure out that when I come up and put on that big weight, this thing is going to stretch 16 inches. Pretty cool, and actually true, a real world example just using a slinky. Up next, I'll take a look at an example that uses the inversely proportional law, which again is real, real world. I'll see you there.